Uh, yeah, bang, bang, bang. Um, Terry Ellis. Nice guy, mate. I've known Terry quite a long time. He's, um, he's quite a dangerous man, Terry Ellis. People think he's because he does scoff mills and things like that, and he's against knife crime, that he's, he's nobody, really. But Terry Ellis uh, used to run with some proper people years ago, and uh, he's, he was well-respected. Well, he's still well-respected man, you know? And don't take him for a fool, because he's not. That's what one thing he's not. But um, he's trying to, to change knife crime. Um, I think that knife crime is here to stay for quite some time, you know, because of the way life is. Um, you've got all these war zone areas, and all the people from these war zone areas are coming over to this country and, you know, carry knives or carry guns. So uh, how can you stop it? You know, it's like one minute you're stopping it here, and then you're bringing it over from other countries, people with, with, with machetes, knives and guns. It's hard to stop, mate, and, you know, and it's, it's all like going to a park and picking up a few machetes and a cut of knives, but there's billions of knives out on the street and it's not going to stop, you know, really, really, it's hard work. And I, as a uh, KON TV, yeah, have uh, just done a, a podcast about a guy who's gone to Ukraine uh, to fight out there, yeah, and um, listen, let me tell you something, he's... This guy is a black guy. He's fantastic at what he did to go out there and you know get into get. He, first of all, went to the Foreign Legion, and uh, and then got into the army and got into sort of some special forces out there. And he says it's mad, mad out there. But then he said he come back to England, and then it's it's mad here. He said it's mad here. Listen, you know out there who, who you're fighting. He says you come to back to England. He says you've got no idea. Who you're fighting and who you've got to run from because everybody's carrying the same thing everybody's carrying knives you've got kids of 12 13 now carrying bread knives because they're on protection because if you go to school and kids have got knives then they're looking for you so what do you do you can't go to the police station because there's no police stations no more by the time you run home you've been stabbed so the wrong thing it's for people who stopped police stations are absolutely crazy. Police stations are there to, for kids and people to go in for help, you know. And listen, we all need police. I don't like police because they always put me in prison. But it's my own fault. But when kids need police and they've got nowhere to run because all these police stations are shut, and there's, only, there's, only, there's not many people to blame for it, is it? It's the government, and who is it, Khan? I don't know who you blame now. I ain't got a clue who you blame, but um, they've got to put them back, mate. They've got to, so these kids can have some protection. Um, it's mad. It's mad that, you know, a kid can go to school, and a young kid, 13, 12, 13, to go to school, and he's carrying a big carving knife that he's hid somewhere because he's petrified. Of other kids stabbing him, and it's happening, mate. It's happening, and it won't stop. You can't go to the parks and pick up machetes, one machete, and a couple of knives, because round the corner there's another twenty or thirty machetes and knives. All right, bang, 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 nice one.